Hi guys and welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new here. My name is Dana and my mama took four and on my channel I love sharing our homeschooling journey as well as just simple living and motherhood. But if that is something that interests you I'd love to have you join our family and you can do so by subscribing down below. Today's video is actually a part of a collaboration hosted by Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool as well as Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. I was really excited honestly to see that these two wonderful ladies decided to host this collaboration because I think self-care especially with homeschooling mamas is something that yeah we could all use some encouragement when it comes to self-care and taking care of ourselves because as all homeschool mamas you pour 100% of yourself into your little people and your family daily and it can take a toll on us. It really really can. So I'm excited to be talking about this a little bit today. And I'm most importantly, really excited to be watching the playlist of a whole bunch of other mamas also sharing their kind of self-care tips, how they do that for themselves in their home and everything like that. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So today's video is actually going to be really focusing around self-care for the introverted mama, as you could talk in the title down below. <laughs> so being an introvert has its own sets of challenges, especially being a homeschooling mama, meeting all of the demands of your family and things like that. And it can be, it can definitely be challenging, especially if your energy level, like most introverts are based on kind of having that time to recharge. And if you don't have that time to recharge for day in and day out, it can be a lot. So this video is going to be kind of from that perspective because I am more introverted. So so these things are just things that I do that work for my personality, if that makes sense. And I did also want to mention just as a little bit of a disclaimer that every single person is going to view self-care differently. So my version may be differently than yours and that's okay. This is just what I do and I thought I'd put that out there. Anyway, let's really get into today's video. So for me, as I mentioned, because I am an introvert, I have learned that the best way for me to remain peaceful and to kind of take care of myself, so to speak is to create an atmosphere that I like being in <laughs> because I am not one actually that likes to go out and spend time alone outside of my home and it is very very rare that I am alone inside of my home so it's kind of a, a different balance like I'm not the type of person who would act go out and get my like my nails done or like that type of self-care. Um, a lot of people love that and I've just, I'm, I've never, I don't know why I've never liked that, but I guess maybe it's honestly the introverted side of me where I don't wanna sit there and small talk for an hour. I don't know. Anyway, my main goal when it comes to my self-care is really creating an atmosphere in my home that I like being in, I enjoy being in, and that is always peaceful. And yeah, I just like, I want to create the atmosphere that I like. And a part of that has to do with just how the day-to-day -day things flow. And so the th first thing I wanted to share is kind of how I start my day and making sure my day is off to a good start because I feel like without a good start to the day, a lot of the times the rest of the day can kind of, you know, go downhill if that makes sense. But I typically like preparing for my day the night before, whether that be prepping breakfast, it does not happen every single night, but I notice a huge difference for me personally because typically right now in this phase of life with a new, uh, no longer a newborn, you're just a baby. Yes, yeah, with a baby and toddler that I normally wake up with my kids. One second. <laughs> Anyway, I typically wake up with my kids right now instead of before. So having things ready to go the day before, yes, has really, really helped. Whether that be putting muffins in the freezer the night before, going ahead and scrambling up the eggs the night before. So all I have to do is toss them on the stove when I wake up. And honestly, even little tiny things that you don't think make a difference, like washing the water bottles the night before and then getting those laid out the night before. But any little thing to where you know, oh, one second again. Anyways, anything that can really help you with your morning and have that go smoothie is really, really helpful. So I love doing all those things the night before. They make such a huge difference in my overall start to the day. And it's something so simple, but again, big difference. Another thing I wanted to mention, and this goes back to my point as far as me not wanting to actually go out for taking like alone time, if that makes sense. And another reason why I'm trying to learn just to create the atmosphere at home and the atmosphere I want at home is because we do live out in the country and most things around us are small businesses as well so when my husband does get home or when I am able to finally have a break for the day most businesses close at 5 p.m. so I am normally everything is if everything is not closed by then normally by that time of day I'm normally not wanting to go anywhere anyway because I'm tired but so that's another big reason as far as wanting to create my own atmosphere at home and make that might be my kind of like piece so to speak because yeah I don't want to actually ever have an atmosphere where I feel like I need to get away from it and I keep saying atmosphere and creating atmosphere because 
I'm really, really passionate about not needing to go away. And I think my husband and I together have both tried to create something to where we don't, we feel like we don't necessarily need a vacation away from it. It's if we do a vacation, it's because we want to go and experience something fun and new and exciting. It's not because we need a vacation, if that makes sense. So trying to create a life we don't need a vacation from, put it that way. <laughs> Another huge thing for me that I have been doing for years and that has really, really helped me. I don't know, it has, it has helped every aspect of my life. And that is honestly, it sounds very cliche, but just exercise and water. <laughs> For me, I do a lot of exercising in the evening. And right now, because I am still kind of in that postpartum period, I do the Mood 2 program. It is great if you're not familiar with it. It is kind of pricey. I think it's like $20, $25 a month. But I normally do that program for about six months postpartum and it's amazing. And I love the fact that it's really deep breathing focused. So that has really helped. And if you are also an introvert, doing exercises at night is such a great, great way to just honestly de-stress from the day, to just calm down. And sometimes I'll even put worship music on, even if I am following along in the Mood 2 program, I will put worship music on and just kind of, I don't know, that, that's kind of like my unwinding time of the night. I also either take a shower at night or maybe a bath at night and things like that, but just really 20 minutes to where I'm really focusing either on scripture playing or music and really just deep breathing and just relaxing. That is my thing that I love doing. I love exercise and I feel like moving my body, even though I'm up all day and around all day and I don't sit down much, it's a different kind of exercise. It's the intentionality behind it and just like relaxing and it's like purposely relaxing your body. So I love doing that. And then I love drinking a lot of water. I actually do get over a gallon a day in because of nursing and stuff, it's really easy for me. I have those big water bottles that you've probably seen quite a bit on my channel. Oh my goodness. And I'll go through four or five of those bottles a day. And it's a great way for me to keep track of how much water I'm drinking and stuff. So we love that. Yes, so a lot of water and exercise really helps my overall mood. And not just like I said, the physical, but like the that emotional and mental health as well. Another thing that I love doing, and this goes back to creating that atmosphere that I love creating in my home, and that is putting music on. I love putting worship music on, as I mentioned before, <laughs> or I also love putting some type of a classical music on. I found that classical music creates that very calming atmosphere. My kids love it. I love it. And the one thing I love about classical music too, is it's something that I can put on during school and the kids aren't distracted with the lyrics. And again, it just creates such that beautiful feeling and atmosphere in my home. And I love that. So apart from doing worship music i'm actually in the process of trying out fly lady if you've not heard of fly lady this is a clean routine or cleaning method i should say and i am loving it so far if you want me to do a designated video about the fly lady cleaning routine let me know below i'd love to do it i have found it to be amazing it's it really is incredible it's a different way of like kind of rotating cleaning rooms things anyway i've really been enjoying that and i have found too another thing that doesn't stress me out as much is with this program, I know during the week that this thing will get done eventually, even if it isn't right now in, in this very moment, I know it will get done. And that provides honestly a lot of peace knowing that it is on my list of things to do and get done. And so that has been amazing. And it's honestly, believe it or not, taken a lot from my mind as far as worrying about getting everything done in one day because I know it's part of the routine. It's gonna happen that week. So if it doesn't get done today, that's fine. And I feel like before, I started actually having a cleaning routine. I was worried about getting everything done every single day. And it's a lot when you're trying to get everything done every single day and then still think about like the deep cleaning, you know, because there's a lot of things that need deep cleaned and then you feel like you have to do that all day, every day and things like that. So having this routine has helped tremendously. And it honestly takes a little of my mind of just not having to worry about it. So that's great. And um, again, I'll have to do a designated video on it because it's been amazing when it comes to balancing the actual stress and workload of just the running of the house. But Fly Lady has been amazing. And lastly, and one of the most important things that I have done when it comes to taking care of myself, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because I feel like these tips are not necessarily self-care tips, but it's what I do to my, for myself anyway. Um, the number one thing that I would say I should have put at the top of my list, and I guess these things are in no particular order, but that is letting go of unrealistic expectations when it comes to every single aspect of your life. <laughs> it does not matter what it is. I feel like once you kind of step back from whatever expectation you might have had about something and you let go of it, there's such a huge amount of freedom that comes from that. And right now in the stage of life, and I just shared this actually on my Instagram page, this is specifically when it comes to like my quiet time, reading the word, spending time 
time with God, prayer, things like that. That is that I need to let go of the expectation that my quiet time will probably never be quiet <laughs> and to let that be okay. And that's not necessarily what spending time with God is all about. While I would love love that 10, 20 minutes of reading the scripture in a quiet atmosphere with the candles lit and a hot cup of coffee and drinking it while it's still hot. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> it's just not practical and it's not something that I can do right now. And letting the idea of that go has been amazing because it's not going to happen. And I feel like if I keep waiting on that perfect moment to happen or that perfect quiet moment to sit down and open my Bible, it's not going to happen. And I finally realized after months of struggling, like, oh, I just want quiet time so I can read my Bible of like, you know what? Just read your Bible anyway. Even if you, and this is goes, I'm preaching to myself here, but even if like little ones come up and tap you on the shoulder every other verse, even if you only read one verse a day, at least you spent time in the word. And so this is something that I've been convicted of myself personally, as far as like making sure I get that time in each day. Even if I said, I always have baby on me <laughs> or one of the kiddos and really all four of the kids around me that's fine because in the process of reading my bible and sometimes i'll read it out loud out loud with them in the room that i am a huge fan of actions speak louder than words especially when it comes to little people so having them being able to witness and actually see me put christ as a priority instead of just telling them oh we should always put god first um and things like that and you can like tell your kids anything all day i mean i can tell them what to think and how to think all day long but at the end of the day if i am myself not living it out they probably won't listen <laughs> so i'm a huge huge advocate and honestly just a huge believer that yeah just how you live and how you talk and how you are is what the kids will probably cling to the most and it doesn't matter as much as what is said as what you do yourself so anyway that is some things I do and I know this video is very probably strange it's not a typical self-care video it's just things that I do that helps create that peace in my heart and in my mind and in my home and they all tie together they really, really all do. And if having that peaceful home creates a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind, and it's just, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful journey. Anyways, I will leave it at that. And I will, will have the playlist of all the other mamas sharing their self-care tips as well down below. So be sure to go check that out if you are in this phase of life and you really need some encouragement, especially in your motherhood journey. But until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day, whatever you're doing and God bless. Bye.